Hi everyone, I welcome all of you to the video solutions of CBC board exam 2019. Today I am going to discuss class 12th mathematics paper which is set 2. So let's start with this first question. Here this is a question related to the chapter of differential equation and it carries one marks. It states that find the order and degree of differential equation which is x square d2y by dx square which is equal to 1 plus dy by dx whole square whole raised to the power 4. So when I talk about this given differential equation, you can clearly observe your highest derivative is d2y by dx square. So you can clearly say that order of the highest derivative is 2 and what is its power? That is 1. So using this information, I could say here that order of given differential equation is 2 and the degree of the given differential equation is 1. So here I get the required answer for this question that order of the given differential equation is 2 and here degree is 1. So you will obtain here half marks for answering the order and half marks for answering the degree. So half plus half gives you total 1 marks for this question. I hope this is clear to you. Now let's proceed to our next question. Now let's take up question number 2. It states here that if f of x is equal to x plus 7 and g of x is equal to x minus 7 for all x belonging to the set of real numbers, then find here the derivative of f of g of x with respect to x. And this question carries 1 marks. So very first you can see that it is given to you f of x and g of x is x plus 7 and x minus 7 respectively. Very first let's obtain the composition of function f and g. So f of g of x will be equal to f of g of x where g of x is equal to x minus 7. So f of x minus 7 gives me the value x minus 7 plus 7 simplifies to the value equal to x. So I obtain here f of g of x equal to x. Next, after this, I need to obtain derivative of this function f of g of x. So, let's differentiate it with respect to x. So, when I obtain d of f of g of x by dx, here you can observe f of g of x is dx. So, dx by dx is equal to 1. So, I obtain here the final answer for this question is equal to 1. So, if you obtain f of g of x till this step, you will obtain here half marks and on obtaining its derivative, you obtain here half marks which gives you total 1 marks for this question. I hope this question is clear to you. Let's proceed to our next question. Now let's take up question number 3. This question states that find the value of x minus y if this matrix equation is given to you. So let's take up this given equation. Here you can observe the scalar 2 is being multiplied to this matrix. So what happens when you multiply the scalar 2 to this matrix? 2 gets multiplied to each and every element here, which is going to result in the next step. I have this matrix having 2, 6, 0 and 2x as its element. Next, we are going to add up these two matrices. By adding up the corresponding elements, I get here the matrix having the elements 2 plus y, 6 plus 0, 0 plus 1 and 2x plus 2. So you can observe on left hand side and right hand side, I have the two matrix of the same order. So these are two equal matrices. Next, on comparing the corresponding entries of these two equal matrices, you can observe here I have 2 plus y corresponding to 5. I get here that 2 plus y is equal to 5, which is going to result here the value of y equal to 3. Moreover, when you compare this element 2x plus 2 to the corresponding element 8, you get here 2x plus 2 is equal to 8. When 2 gets transposed to the other side, you get here 2x is equal to 6, where it simplifies to give you the value of x equal to 3 again. Next, as I need to obtain here the value of x minus y in this question. So, here x minus y will be definitely equal to 3 minus 3, that is 0. So, here we have obtained the required answer for this question, that x minus y is equal to 0. You solve till this step, then you get here half marks till obtaining two equal matrices and when you obtain the value of x minus y you will obtain rest half marks which gives you total one marks for this question. I hope it is clear to you. Let's proceed ahead to our next question.